Hey everybody, it's January 24th and it's Tuesday and you're here at the weekly community call for chaos. Really happy to see everybody as always. We were just talking about squirrels and other things, tunnels and all kinds of stuff. So, oh, and here's Ildico. Here's the meeting minutes if anybody needs them. Um, and just a reminder, uh, all of our meetings are under our code of conduct. So yeah. I'm not saying that for any particular reason. I'm just saying, <laughs> just good to remind everybody that that's a thing that we have and that we adhere to. Um, and also, if you're at this meeting, you probably know already, but just in case, we do not care if you have your cameras on or off, whichever, whatever is comfortable for you, feel free to um, communicate with us in the chat. And um, we'll be happy to incorporate that into the flow of the meeting. And if you are new here, um, we are still part of uh, the planning process for ChaosCon. So we will chop this meeting in half-ish. Uh, the first 30 minutes will be for just general stuff, um, general community stuff. And then the last 20 minutes will be for um, any last minute ChaosCon planning uh, needs because we, it is very close <laughs> to happening. So um, yeah, so eventually we'll get back to our regular um, meeting schedule uh, structure of 50 minutes for the community. but. In the meantime, if you would be so kind as to drop your name here in the agenda and tell us if you have had any weird foods. See, a couple of us have had Vegemite. It's not, it isn't great. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, it's not good. Um, sea cucumbers and squirrels. <laughs> oh, cow brain. Yeah, it's really good. But, you know, after the mad cow stuff came out, I was like, geez, what did I eat as a child? <laughs> interesting, interesting. I remember my stepdad eating that and my mom saying no, that we weren't allowed to eat it. We didn't <laughs> want to, but she was like, no. I, I yeah. like how they try to um, uh, package it and market it a little better with the term sweet breads instead mm. of cow, cow brains. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's good marketing. It's a good, it's a good tagline. I was a kid. That's I never, so I never questioned it. Right. That's it. Yes. You wouldn't. <laughs> question sweet bread of course yeah ah, okay so um before we kind of jump into actual conversation just a few administrative things to talk about um meetings occasionally here at chaos do change around especially um if there are you know members who have things that come up um it seems to happen i think after the first of the year so we're getting a bunch of them but here are a few that have just come in um, communications working group is actually splitting their meetings up. This is a first for chaos. So yes, it's a grand experiment. Um, just because of the nature of the work that the communications working group is doing, um, it's a little more time sensitive. So um, we thought it would be interesting to try to do um, one on Monday for 30 minutes and one on Thursday for 30 minutes. We're going to keep it at the same time on both days and then we're now we can also use the chaos um, zoom link because we did have a conflict before so um, that is uh, that's kind of how that is going Matt was there on Monday yes it was good um, and the purpose to do it twice just in case anyone's wondering so Monday we're going to try to go over what we want to accomplish in the week as far as any kind of like urgent communications that need to go out um, and then Thursday we'll wrap up and um, see how we did for the week. So that's kind of our idea. We'll see how it works. Any questions about that? And again, no. those meetings are open to anybody who wants to attend. Um, you're welcome to do so. Yeah, I think that, uh, that sure, let's try it. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Yo, no. Okay. Um, the next change is a change to evolution. I'm not sure if Armstrong is not here today. Okay, awesome. Um, Armstrong's requested a change to the evolution um, meeting to Thursdays at noon. I don't think there's a conflict with anything. Fingers crossed. Um, so that's going to be changing. I, I'm not actually sure if we're doing it this week or next week. I need to um, clarify that with Armstrong, with what he would like to do, um, but that is going to be a change. Um, the next one, we are going to cancel common and the web content meetings next week um, because of ChaosCon. That is next week, right? Yeah, that's yeah it sure is. 
Oh, Sean, you're super static. Yeah, now your microphone is terrible in a different way. It's really? Uh, yeah. I don't know. What the, I don't know what the hell is going on now. It didn't change anything. It's terrible. Uh, no, it's good now. It was just giving a lot of static for a while. Yeah, I probably have some kind of like wiring something something that's. I don't know. What, I don't know what's going on. Thank you for telling me. Sorry about that. No worries. <clears throat> um, as far as I know, these are the only two meetings that are canceled next week. Um, if there are others, somebody just shout them out and let me know and I'll, I'll make uh, adjustments to the calendar. I have not changed. I have changed this on the calendar, but I have not changed these two things yet. I will do that today. Actually, let me just put a little date reminder. Okay. Um, and I then added, I'm just, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I added that <laughs> just because I saw it was being listed. Um, I was having a chat with some folks in the risk working group. Um, the OSPO working group and the risk working group are now taking place on the same day every other week. Um, so we were proposing flipping one. I guess the risk working group is smaller now. Um, so I proposed that one, maybe not until after, because if we flip it to next week, we'll probably have to cancel it. Um, yeah. Chaos con. So let's keep it this week. But if folks are okay with it, I'd love to push it out by one week after, just so that we have, those are not happening on the same day, just for folks that are trying to not. Yeah. That's, that works for me. Do you want to? keep the same time are we is that or are we changing yeah i think it's yeah. fine i just flip okay. flip that week um, okay and we can send out an email for the folks that are on the, the slack yep so there's no issues there yep I yeah won't. thanks um, sophia so yeah the request to you elizabeth that is for the meeting after the neck not this one but the week after i guess that's two weeks after yeah. we'll be <laughs> So yeah, the, we'll go three weeks without a meeting is the short yeah. thing, yeah. Thank you. Easy peasy. All right, any questions, comments, concerns about these changes? Okay, let's go on. Uh, this was a topic we were talking about last week. Um, this was an idea to start a, a new group around community managers, and it would be similar to how we're running the OSPO working groups, where it's more of like user story, user case focused, I guess, if you will, so that we could bring together um, whatever community manager would be interested in joining, just to talk about the metrics that are important to them and the questions that they're trying to answer. Um, similar, again, to what we're doing with the OSCO working group. So wanted to open the floor for more discussion since we didn't get time to really talk about that last week. So this was a thought, because of the, the pretty large attendance in the OSCO working group and the continued kind of ask from community managers, like why isn't there a place where we can all talk about community health metrics? And then similarly, um, event organizers are also kind of asking the same questions. Why, where are there things that we can talk about or why isn't there a place where we can talk together? And so as Sophia pointed out, like it's kind of this in the last meeting, it's kind of this like lean towards like functional areas or focus areas, I kind of forget the phrase that you had used but bringing to people together to try to solve questions that are important to their particular context. Um, I'm, I'm very much, I really like this idea, I'm very much in favor of it. I do think though that we need to consider the impact of, of adding two more working group meetings because value became OSPO. Mm -hmm. So that was a one-to-one -one trade. Mm -hmm. um, and then just the impact that that has on our on our time and it's actually kind of then related to that last idea of combining metrics development into a single working group and so, so let me, yeah, go yeah. Ahead. no I, i'm curious to hear what that is so i don't think it would be like a maybe perfect for all working groups but 
Um, a lot of times the metrics, so let me back up. So basically Don had proposed a, a metric model recently called the starter metric model. And it, it didn't have one metric that was important for the metric model. So she went ahead and just developed the metric and we just kind of brought it forward all, all as one. Um, and it was developed in common, but the metric model clearly kind of ends up in the metric model working group. Like, so there's like this overflow of where things kind of end up. And if we had a single working group, to, this is an early idea. This, this idea came up like two hours ago. If there was a single working group where um, say metric, the metric model team needed a couple of different metrics, I think we have enough people in the chaos project that can at least like start these atomic metrics, kind of get them going based on the description that might be provided to them. And we could think about how we deliver, you know, what the description and the objective is. And then that that frame, that framework could be brought back, say, to the metric model meeting, or that frame, the, the simple metric could be brought back to the OSPO working group, or that, that atomic metric could be brought back to the event organizer working group or brought back to the community manager working group. So it's it's just kind of a way to, to get these atomic metrics off the ground. And we just have a single group that kind of gets these going and then returns them to the respective functional working groups. It's just a thought, so I'll stop. I just wanted to add too. so like in the case of like the risk working group, for instance, like those are pretty um, like those topics are pretty specialized. And so the folks that attend those meetings are um, have that experience and that expertise. Um, but what could happen is like those high level uh, conversations could still happen in that um, in that group. And then like all of the pertinent information could be compiled and, and sent back to the metric development group. Um, for the actual kind of hands on kind of work. Um, and then it would go back to the risk group to, to kind of look over and discuss and things like that. Um, and then the risk group, uh, because I don't, I, I haven't attended the risk working group, so I'd really love to hear from Sean and Sophia and whoever else attends those regularly. Um, do, is there time actually spent developing metrics or is it mostly like high level conversations happening in those groups? Both. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's been more high level lately because we haven't been focusing on a specific metric, but I think the our meeting cadence is usually dependent on that. Either we're focusing on a metric or we're talking about a concept. So it kind of goes back and forth. I guess my concern with something like this would just be creating more work for folks. I, I like the idea of having a group that could help ensure more consistency in how metrics themselves are portrayed, communicated, and elaborated on. And I think having someone who's potentially farther from the conversation can look at it and say, is this what I would expect? Um, even if I don't have like a complete understanding of what it is or why it's there, um, hopefully we'll provide enough of those details so those things aren't open questions. But I also wouldn't want to just create all this other work by just throwing things over the fence that are not necessarily fully baked. Because I do feel like part of the process to articulate the metric forces that, at least the risk working group, to help narrow the problem. Because risk is something that's so broad that we have an idea, but then we start writing down, we realize how many different ends there are. And we don't necessarily see that until we're trying to execute on the description in, in practice. So. I, I don't want to say that I'm opposed to it. I'm just curious to see how it would work um, in, in various different types of metrics or groups. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me like maybe maybe the metrics that, you know, the metrics model team needs that, because I think we started just filing issues in the appropriate working group to develop those metrics. Is that not working? I'm curious what problem we're trying to solve by creating a new metrics working group. Um, it's to, I think the problem is, is to try to reduce the number of meetings that we have while still providing the metrics that we need. So like we could, you know, have like kind of combine um, evolution with common in terms of developing metrics. I'm just, I'm very concerned about the, 
if we add the community manager working group and the OSPO working group and an event organizer working group, which I really like that idea that we're just overloading ourselves with meeting. I'm just trying to find a way to reduce that contact time. Oh, okay. I thought you were proposing a, a new meeting that was an addition to the other meetings. No, no, no. no, no. It's the meeting <laughs> reduction. It's the meeting reduction act of 2024, three, what year are we in? Whatever. Yeah. I, I'm all for fewer meetings. Uh, if we can find some logical ways to to combine them, that makes sense. Okay. But I do think, getting back to Sophia's point, I do think that it makes sense to have the metrics developed in the working group that has that expertise. I think that that's important. Okay. And on the, getting back to, can we talk about the community manager and event yeah. um, ones? Would that be two separate? I'm curious what the overlap is between community managers and um, event people. Um, we hadn't really okay. talked about that, I don't think, Elizabeth. I was going to say, I can, I can speak to that. So um, currently, the event organizers are a different group. The, I'm thinking of the ones that have been applying for badging, which is where this idea came from, um, because we, we did have that. Um, actually, they brought that up. A couple of them brought that up a few months ago. Um, but I just haven't had the bandwidth to kind of take it forward right. and, and really explore what that would look like. So this is kind of right in alignment with what they're already asking for. Um, they are different than uh, the, the community managers in that. Um, so the one the, the folks that have been applying for badges are their role is event organizing. That's it. That's all they do. They don't do anything else. Um, so I think that the community managers, there might be some overlap at times, um, but the community managers we've talked to from other um, Linux Foundation projects, for instance, um, I don't know that they're necessarily the ones that are planning the event. I think in a smaller-ish project like Chaos, there is overlap because we only have so many hands on deck to do all the things. But um, I mean, in theory, we would have someone that would like kind of own ChaosCon and like plan it and run it and do it. And then we would have this community management on the side. So, okay, um, yeah, and, and like to, to Georg's point, yeah, the app ecosystem had they have done some stuff with event uh, metrics. So yeah, it would be great to connect them as well. And what do the event organizers want to get out of a meeting? What's the what's their goal? The ones I spoke to were really looking to um, just connect with other event organizers to swap ideas, to swap challenges, especially with regard to DEI issues. Um, and just, I, you know, just a way for them to have more of a network of folks that care about this and specific to the open source um, ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that was kind of what they were looking for is like, hey, we tried this thing, it worked. We tried this other thing, it didn't work. How are we, how, what, what do you care about measuring? What's important to you? All of those things. Does that help? Cool. Yeah, I was just I was just curious to understand the, the background a little bit more. Thanks. Eric, did you want to say anything or expand on anything about the app ecosystem work? The app ecosystem group for has so backtrack what we've done is built out a set of metrics we could call the metric model for event organizers um, to track metrics and report metrics we are we have a draft reporting slide deck that can be used we are working next on a spreadsheet for collecting metrics in a more standard way across events this is we are working with the Gnomes Wadek KDE's Academy, and then their joint Linux App Summit conference. Um, would love to work with ChaosCon. I, I mean, I, I'm on the organizing committee. I could totally just do that um, to to get these metrics uh, into use, and that is the focus of this year work with the events on, hey, does this make sense? Can we report those? Um, so that's the idea. And if there is an event working group, 
it sounds like from what you were saying, Elizabeth, though, their focus was not on how do we measure our events and report on them. Their focus was different. Um, yeah, yes. Um, I think that their focus was mostly DEI because that's the context in which they're familiar with chaos. Um, that being said, I, I don't think they would necessarily be opposed to talking about other metrics that people are collecting and that are helpful to them to run an event, to run a good event. Um, but yeah, so I think there, there could probably be some, some synergy, crossover, whatever, however you want to say it. There, I think so, yeah. So maybe what I'm what I'm hearing is maybe Elizabeth, you and I can like reconnect. Like it, it doesn't seem like the anybody has it doesn't seem like the ideas of community manager working group or event working group or hospital working group. I think those are they seem okay received, well received. Um fewer meetings also seems well received. Um, but kind of the logistics of how we might propose to do this and how we might propose to to combine things should maybe be sorted out a little bit more and we could come with a little bit more formal proposal to folks. The other thing we could think about is, I mean, right now we we've, we've just sort of organized things around how we think about metrics, but we've talked a lot in the past about trying to organize things more around audiences or how people use the things. And so maybe, maybe the structure that we have right now with all of the separate working groups mm -hmm. isn't, isn't the best mm -hmm. one. Maybe there's another way to do it that's more, more audience based. I don't know. I, I you know, like I'm trying to think about how that would work, and I can't, I can't quite get my head around it. But it feels like, it feels like there might be something there. Yeah, I, the combination, like if we think about a community managers working group and an ASPO working group, these are more end user focused working groups, and combining the generation of metrics across several domains makes some sense in terms of in, you know in, ensuring a level of engagement with with metrics um, like I I'm trying to think DEI I mean DEI is probably the one that's the most different from all of the rest of them that I think would be least likely to work under a general metrics thing just because often they're working on things that are not really metrics from the trace data analysis perspective but everything else every other working group is focused on that you know analysis of trace data perspective i think just my two cents yeah i think that the dei group would need to stay regardless my personal yeah vote. yeah i think so too um, because I think there's obviously, you know, specific topics that are covered there that are not covered other other places. Um, and, and one could also argue the risk should stick around as well, just because of that um, level of expertise and like the highly specified or specialized conversations that they have there. Um, so maybe it's common evolution, anything that was left over from value, I don't know. Um, and also, you know, just to your point too, Don, of how we have just rearranged them on the website also. Like sometimes we can't even remember what group made a metric. So <laughs> like to me, that means like, okay, well maybe it's a little more fluid, you know, <laughs> than this like strict buckets siloed that we have done in the past. So I don't know, we can continue to kind of ruminate on it and see how we feel about that. But in the meantime, um, yes, yeah, so Matt, you and I can, Get together and, and like kind of that map that great. a little better. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Perfect. Um, one quick, uh, sorry to cut this short, just wanted to mention one quick thing before we adjourn. Um, the communications working group has put together a list of um, topics, which you don't need to worry about this spreadsheet. It just click over here to topic ideas. That's all you need to look at because <laughs> the rest of the spreadsheet is, is a lot going on. You don't need to worry about that. Just focus on this topic ideas for content. If you are someone that wants to be a content creator and maybe write some blog posts or write, make a video, um, I don't know, whatever else you have in mind, these are some topics we came up with. Um, so if any of these 
uh, see if I can link to this tab specifically, which I thought I did, but I may not have. I think you can. Okay. Um, hopefully that worked. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, if you are interested in, in taking one of these topics or, or you know, um, exploring it a little more, just pop in the working group communication Slack channel and let us know. And then we'll take care of like keeping track of it on our side. So just let us know that's something that you're working on. Um, and then when you're ready, uh, you can pop it back in the Slack channel and we'll take a group of us. We'll look at whatever you've done to kind of just give it a second read or watch or whatever, um, or listen, and um, then we'll go from there. Questions about that? Sounds good. Okay. I will stop sharing. And if you want to stick around and talk about the uh, chaos con planning, awesome. If you are heading out, we will see you here next time, next week, same place, next week, same time, whatever. Same bet. Same <laughs> Have a good time. rest of your week and go Bengals. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah, go Bengals. Only team left <laughs> in the playoffs that has not won a Super Bowl, so you have to cheer for them. <laughs> That's right. Perpetual underdogs we are. Yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> You got you got the real Joe Cool. I have a lot of a lot of confidence in the Bengals this Me year. Me too. Me too. Um, Sean, you can stop recording too whenever. Oh yeah. Okay. Talk um, about chaos con for a sec. Oops. Stop recording.